So this is Trueform's latest 38 foot Cascade Mini. It's a travel trailer. Believe it or not, it goes down the road. I'm really excited to show you guys. It's a, um, it's one of our original designs. And I mean, we're starting out here on this rooftop deck. It's, you know, it's got these cable railings. It's got a spiral staircase. I see myself up here having a, a beer or a lemonade, just enjoying the evening. This is a, um, it's a tough one to top. So I want to show you the guys the rest of the tiny house down below, but take a look at this thing. Here we go. Let's go down this staircase. Lots of access, light switch on the bottom, beautiful little accents here. We've got our um, cedar shingles, real cedar. We don't kind of mess around with that. Beautiful windows, a lot of detail and kind of a craftsman style front porch. And of course our custom made um, staircase. So why don't we go take a peek? So welcome to inside this tiny house. Um, we've got a 38 footer remember. So we have a lot of space in this, this living room, this kitchen. Um, I say first thing off I noticed is that this, um, the wall covering and the ceiling, it's all a shiplap. So it gives that cozy kind of like it's real wood. It's not a, it's not a synthetic product. So I think it shows really well. And of course the little beams, the timber beams in the top and the ceiling pop, um, they play a little bit against the flooring as well. So there's that balance of, of white. Um, wall boards and wood wood accents that really pop in this space. I also really love, of course, how wide open this end is. As you can see, this is open right now. It's a door that pivots and opens up completely. It's called our bifold exterior door. So as you open it, all of a sudden, we have twice the size of living space. Um, I love how this outdoor screened in porch now becomes part of the living room. We have it as a seating area, awesome little kind of kitchen or like a little breakfast nook space or, you know, just if you want to hang out there um, and enjoy the outdoors. So as we come down into the screened out porch, we can also go on to the drop down deck. Um, Everything is cedar on the on the ground for, of course, you know, it's a nice warm wood feel, but also durability wise. Um, the screen and porch is going to last a long time as well. Um, so we're going to just step out here and see what the outdoor deck looks like and feels like. It's a nice size. It's about eight feet long and the width of the tiny house, which is also eight and a half feet. So eight by eight and a half. Um, and you can see we can enjoy our timber framed exterior porch and um, it's just a really nice spot. So when the, the bugs aren't out and you want to see some some stars, this is the place to be. So we're going to go back inside and do a little bit of the interior walkthrough. Um, and we're going to walk right into the kitchen. So the kitchen is that's really nice balanced between functionality, enough space, but it's not going to take up the whole tiny house. So they were always balancing how much, how many inches should we devote to the living space and how many inches to the kitchen. So we want to, you know, optimize our workspace so we don't make too big of a sink. There's a nice little balance space between these two. So what we have is beautiful little workspace on both sides of the sink. We have a nice under um, under counter fridge, very functional. It's a DC powered fridge, um, so it's very efficient as well. This is a nice little feature too, is a drawer dishwasher. So you don't have to bend over too deep, very efficient. Um, it's a really nice brand as well. And then our range top is a three burner range with an oven, um, both propane based and our hood, which always vents to the outside. It's really important to get those cooking gases outside um, of the tiny house. A little bit of storage up top for various items. There's a little bonus storage up here. And of course, a couple drawers down below um, for other storage. We also have this movable island, which I think works really well in this space. It's all built in-house by our craftsmen here. Um, all the metal components and the wood components. So everything that you see on this tiny house 
we've built, including these open shelves and um, all these different items. So we're really proud of this. It is, like I said, movable. So you could move it to the side if you wanted to have more space in the middle. That's always important in a tiny house design is to have it multifunctional. So that is one thing that we definitely recommend is movable items, especially in the middle. And then we're gonna go take a look at the, uh, the hallway here, which kind of opens up to the bed area and the um, utility space. We have a little closet as we walk down, but underneath here is where our client really wanted her bed. So it's, it's a queen size bed. It's a full width. The mattress takes up the full width of the space and the length, but it's, we wanted to make sure there's enough light. So there's a nice egress window right there that also provides a lot of light. There's a lot of light on our ceiling for um, our LED light. We actually have light underneath the steps. <clears throat> so it just it's a nice little warm place to sleep. The reason why we put it down below is it allows the loft above it so you can actually stand up in the loft. Um, she wanted to be able to store her clothes and get ready in the morning and also do her laundry up there. So it's really nice little balance between the two spaces. Totally fun, totally unique. I love it um, and it really worked out. While I'm here, there's a step in this floor that actually turns into a bit of storage space. So that's, you know, any opportunity you can get, um, make, it, make it a place where you can put stuff. Let's take a look at the bathroom. The bathroom has not only a shower with this glass enclosure with our champagne fixtures, but it also has a bathtub. Now the bathtub has it framed out with the, the glass, the outside there, so you can imagine um, bath, you know, bath time, nice, nice view. It's really kind of open and airy. Um, we have a nice size of uh, vanity as well. So this little space turned out really nice. Um, a lot of attention was paid to this space too. I mean, the light fixtures, for example, the champagne fixtures for the, the faucets, um, that was really important to our client. So I'm, I'm um, really happy on how this turned out. So as we walk back around the, the bed sleeping area, we're gonna go up into the utility space. And I'll just kind of go up here in these floating steps and now you can see the stackable washer dryer. Um, we've got a nice little handrail here, but it's really adaptable for lots of different storage options. Um, it can either be a dresser or open shelves. Um, this is actually where our, um, our low voltage kind of Wi-Fi space, so there's some plugs and outlets. So we really make every little nook and cranny kind of workable for our client to kind of adapt to their needs. Um, and it's really nice to actually walk up a small flight of stairs and be able to stand up. I am 6'2", so it, it is tight as well. It's like about a six foot high ceiling, but anyone under six foot, no problem. So in the bedroom, you can see there's a control panel there. Well, that control panel is for the onboard solar system. Solar panels, inverter, batteries. So that's what we provided in here. It's a top of the line system. It's well supported anywhere you go in the US or even the world. Um, and we're fortunate enough to have an ambassador of the Victron system here locally that has supported us in developing this robust solar system. We've got, this is our standard RV inlet for electrical, but in this door is where all the batteries, the inverter and the solar charger live. Um, we do have this pull-out drawer that houses the batteries. It can actually, you can actually put more batteries than we have in it. Um, but right now there's four nice sized batteries in there. We have a solar charger, an inverter, and our DC to AC components. As you can see, it's really accessible. There's a good amount of ventilation and there's good access. All very important in designing a, an effective solar system. And then as you can see around the front here, I wanna show you where the solar panels are, but even more important, I wanna show you this view on top of this deck because that is where we started and I can't get enough of it.
So here we are, the rooftop deck. Uh, our client was really passionate about this and I'm glad she was because this, uh, this turned out wonderful. Um, there's a little fireplace down below too that you can sit at and enjoy a, a nice little warm feature. Um, all of this came together so well uh, that we're super excited about it and just would love to share it with everybody here, of course. Um, there are more things on our website, uh, more pictures, more videos that you're welcome to explore. Um, we love to share all that. Of course, if you have any questions, give us a call. Um, this is what we do every day. So this is our life and this is our passion. So I hope you enjoyed the tour and we'll see you soon. Thank you.